the thing that gives everybody trouble mm -hmm. when you're stretching canvas is the corners. What you want to do is stop stapling about five inches from the corner on each side. And in this case, I'm working with small canvas, so I only have one staple on the one side. You're going to kind of fold it twice. Um, and once you fold it, you're going to fuss with it a little bit. You can see that it overlaps a quarter inch there, so I can, can mark it and run that fold right along the outer edge. So the inner fold doesn't matter too much. It's the outer fold that you're really going for. So what I do once I have that kind of set out is on the inside of that fold, I staple all the way over to where the, the 45 degree angle is where you join the stretcher bars so that you have to do a little bit less work. See here, I'm just keep, I'm adjusting that fold several times um, so that it runs right along the edge of the stretcher bar. And here's where you start to pull a little bit tighter, um, gain tension, and so on. And you notice that when I hit that edge, that it didn't hit the edge on the sort of what's going to be the visible part of that corner. So I had to adjust a little bit there too to kind of get that where it's going to look decent. So that staple didn't go through the corner, so it was just kind of tacking canvas in place. So here's where it really matters. Everything has to come together when this staple goes in um, because that's really going to define the corner. And then you can kind of pull and go back towards what you had. And there you can see you have a pretty perfect corner and those extra ripples will come out later.